rocking along. Nothing big today. Oh, there's a bad guy. Oh, grab it, tell me, grab it, tell me, yeah. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Nice. Okay, now we just need two more of these right here. There you go. Nice work, Hiroto. Give me five, man. Dude, we have a massive man. Oh, don't. Ah. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, when they touch, they're gonna knock each other over. It's called the domino effect. What do you got going on up here, Axel? So Axel has our mag next sets here, and he's building a tower as well. Hello, adventurers. Welcome to today's video. Today, we are gonna do something really, really fun. It's kind of a secret. Uh, okay, let's tell him. You wanna tell him? Okay. Not yet, not yet. Okay, Axel wants to keep it a secret. It is kind of a secret. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be so big. Axel's mommy and Hiroto's mommy. Hiroto is Axel's cousin, in case anybody doesn't know. Hello. They left with River and Hiroto's little sister, Rinka. We are gonna build something epic for them and surprise them when they get back. But first, we're gonna do this awesome domino with all these fans. We're gonna knock them all over, and they're gonna knock this giant tower over. I'm gonna give you a hint for the secret, okay? The hint is, it has to do with sheets and fans. Sheets and fans, you might ask. What could you do with sheets and fans? Well, that's the secret. That's what we're gonna tell you in just a second. Axel's finished with his Magnex tower here, and we're gonna oh, watch both of these towers be crushed. Look, What's your this idea? Is the ball for yes, that's sticking. the magnetic balls, right? Yeah, but uh -huh. they're not What's my idea. What's your idea? Instead of the points, we can put a big black thing on you oh. and put this on you. <gasps> Could we do it? Could we do it? Okay, Hiroto, you remember how you wanted to put a flat top on there? Yeah. Okay, go get that flat top, okay? Axel wants to make this tower the biggest tower ever. One top. flat top left. Oh my goodness. Will this work? It is pretty heavy. It has to be balanced. See that? What do you think? Will it work? Will it work? Oh no. See, it's starting to buckle. Ah, how can we make this work? Okay, so Axel had an idea. He's gonna put this on here and this is gonna go. Alright, are you ready for the domino effect? Okay, don't do it till I say go, okay? Three, two, one, go! Oh, the magnets are still together. But wow. Daddy, Look at that. They held together well. Daddy. See? Now these balls make it hold together Daddy, better Daddy. than the magnet Daddy, balls. But they are more difficult to put Daddy, together, so it's a, it's a trade. It's a rocket ship. It's a rocket ship. Shake blast off. A, a shapeshifter. Oh, no. Shapeshifter. Okay, Axel. Can you reveal to everyone what is the secret? What is it? The first thing is the first letter is A. First letter is A. Black See if you can guess. See if you can guess. T. What is it already? What's the secret? We're air dying to air know. Air fort. Air fort. But this is gonna be no ordinary air fort. We have here eight fans. Eight fans. And we have so many sheets here. We are gonna make this entire house into an air fort. It's gonna be an air fort house. And then we are going to welcome Axel's mommy and Hiroto's mommy and, and River and Rinka to and our air fort house. We're gonna put the entrance in in front of the door. Yes, 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 yes. So when they come in the front door like this, do, 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 they're gonna come in here like this and the door's gonna be locked and they're gonna ring the door really low. And then they're gonna open the door. And then what? And Hiroto will say, welcome to our air fort house. And then they'll have Someone to call. Someone the domino. <laughs> Someone the domino. Okay, push it. <laughs> Don't try that at home. That's dangerous. So, you guys, we need to get a plan together about how we are gonna build this Air Force house. Take my hand, son. Take my hand. It's rocking along. Nothing big today. Oh, there's a bad guy. So, how are we gonna design this whole house Air Force? What, what do you got? What are you guys buying? Paper. Back? Oh yeah, paper. And pen. Paper and pen. Okay. And also the most important thing. 
opening up the whole entire what? thing. A, a Pokeball. So first we're gonna have a tunnel right there. What rooms are we gonna have? What rooms would you have if you were building a whole house airport? Well, let's see, what rooms do you need in a house? You need a, we need, we need, need a bathroom. Yeah, okay. we need a bathroom. So we need a tunnel to lead down the hall to the bathroom. We need no. to eat, so we need a tunnel that leads to the kitchen. And we would need to go outside, so a tunnel that goes out. Oh, yep, okay, so a tunnel that goes outside. Two bedrooms. Two bedroom tunnels, okay. Maybe we should just make an airport bedroom that's like you sleep inside the airport. Oh, these could be the mats. We could put them under the airport and you could sleep on them under the airport. Yeah. Okay. And, no, and there's, we should have a game room. Oh, <gasps> yes. yes. Yes, a game room. We play games. And play rooms. Yes. All right, well, sounds like we got it going on. Let's draw it up, okay? I'm gonna see you draw it up, draw it up. Mm -hmm, perfect. And then a tunnel. And we need another line. That's kind of like right here. Tunnel there. Leading to the bedroom. The bedroom. Okay, so we are drawing this out here. Those are the beds. <laughs> and this is a tunnel leading to the bathroom. Okay, we got it here. So this is the entrance tunnel here. This is the game room. Wait. This tunnel. G GM. GM for game room. That tunnel leads to the bedroom here. These are the bed mats. You go back into that tunnel, go over to here. There's the kitchen. Go back over here, here's the tunnel that leads to the bathroom. Get everything we need. Game room, bedroom, bathroom, kitchen. That's all you need to survive. Yeah. <laughs> so Roto is taking the fans out. Now these are purple fans, right? And what color is your shirt? Purple. Uh-huh, is your favorite color purple? Yeah, yeah. that matte. So a lot of people think that purple is just for girls. But purple, is an awesome color, and there's nothing wrong because with liking a color that girls mostly like or boys mostly like. It doesn't matter. Because purple because was the uh, thousands of years ago, hundreds of years ago, royalty. the color of royalty. Kings and queens both alike, and princes and princesses would wear purple as a symbol of their status. So the next time somebody tells you you can make purple because it's girl color, well, that's not very nice. And maybe they won't say it like that. They probably don't say it like that. That was kind of mean for me to say that. <laughs> okay. You like the colors you like because you like them, not because somebody else says you should like this or you shouldn't like that, okay? Yeah, be you. All right, let's turn that on. Be like the wind. Oh my goodness. I am a robot. Robot, 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 robot. I love that. All right, everyone, it looks like we are all set up to build our giant air fort. Yeah, giant. You ready to get to building? Yeah! All right, let's get to building! We are getting it going with this blanket air fort, but we are so exhausted. Mm. Are we gonna oh, so we got some cold, fresh coconut here. By the way, in case any of you haven't noticed, we are in Maui, Hawaii, in a new house here that we are staying in for the winter. Yeah, it's really hot here, and so we need some refreshment. And Axel bought this snow cone maker, right? With his own money, it cost 15 bucks on Amazon. He bought it with some money he made. And boy, he's had this thing for about two years now. And every time we come here to Maui, we make snow cones. Look at that stuff falling down. There's a razor blade in there. It saves the ice. How many of you like snow cones? Can you turn I do. So we put a little bit of fruit juice in here. And then put a little bit of coconut water in there. Oh, yes. I don't really like coconut water. Oh, look at that. These coconuts are fresh. Oh, you don't want any. Okay. Oh, my goodness. This looks so fantastic. Snow cone time! Mm. Look at what we have. Oh, oh yes. Is it good? <laughs> Axel's a foodie. All right, we're gonna get refreshed with this and we're gonna get back to building the Air Force Blanket Fort. Okay, everybody, so before we get back to building, we're gonna show you what we have done so far. We're gonna try to test it out a little bit and to see if also. it works. Also, Axel chopped open the coconut that I chopped the top off of and check this coconut meat out. Mm. Pretty sick. Oh my goodness. 
It's so, so good. good right? Mm-hmm. Pretty sick. That's fantastic. What is under there? We can work on That's both. kind of creepy. There's like these things under this blanket here. Don't Good thing it's just actual under there too. So before we continue building, I want to show you all what this concept of a blanket fort or air fort blanket fort is. All right, you ready? We're gonna test out what we have so far. We have one, two, three fans. And we have the main room here done. Let's see if the three fans are enough to pick it all up. You guys go underneath with them. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Turn the fan boxes on. Yeah, ready, go. All of them. Oh, it lifted! 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 It really works! Wow! This is so cool! Yeah, this is a glue cool spot! Oh. Wow! No, this is a second room! Tunnel! What? We gotta build a tunnel! Yes! <laughs> tunnel! It's I'm so gonna, exciting! I'm, I'm, I'm a wild Pokemon using Hurricane and letting it go up. <laughs> okay, so that's one of the tunnels. Wow. So yeah, Hiroto's right. Uh, I am so excited about this next part. It's my favorite. We're gonna build the tunnels. Like two straight tunnels. It's gonna be so exciting. Alright, come on, let's start building let's the tunnel. Do it. everyone so Axel's mommy and Hiroto's mommy are here right so they're outside they're in the heat they're waiting we want to surprise them so we're gonna bring them some popsicles right okay hey everybody hello, hello. Axel has hey, popsicles for you because oh we're filming each other film oh my goodness uh -huh. so we were, in a we're almost done we just gotta finish the tunnel I know you don't know what the tunnel is but it's gonna be a surprise we don't know what the tunnel is okay check out South House TV check out South House TV check out the Axel Show okay so we are gonna put a door right here that leads into the kitchen are you gonna tape the door okay cool all right so put tape right in the seam right here how's it feel in the air for it there Pretty windy, right? Pretty windy. The weather today, it's pretty windy inside of the airport because of all the air blowing from all of the fans. In fact, it's pretty windy every day inside of airport land because it's always blowing with fans. How do you like my air weather report voice? <laughs> there you go. I'm making duct tape hinges. Okay, so check this out. Boop. Duct tape hinges. Open that up and close it and it stops right there. So we are not finished with the tunnel here. We still have to finish the tunnel. But it's looking great. We just need to put some fans down here. But they're waiting out in the hot. We're gonna have to go bring them and show them what we got so far. Do you hear that? We have guests! Hooray! Welcome, welcome, come on in. Welcome to the Air Force Blanket Fort house. It's an entire house made of Air Force Blanket Fort. This is the entrance here. It's the magical tunnel. Go on in, go on in. Come on, come on, even the big people, even the big people. There you go. Hey, hello, come on in, come on in. Do you like the bed with me? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Isn't this so cool? It's so fun. Okay. Yes. Go this way. Go this way, yeah. Oh, look at the spots coming. So here is the bedroom here. And this over here, this is the game room where we play games like Uno. And then this is the passageway that leads to the kitchen. And then this right here. This is the tunnel. Oh, look at that. It's still not finished. The tunnel is under construction, everyone. Okay, so we are blocking the bathroom with construction. And River needs to go to the bathroom, River. So we are taping this up. We're using duct tape like 
sewing. And we're sewing this together with duct tape. Now, who had this idea? Me. I got up the other day, and Axel was building a gigantic blanket fort, air fort, out of sheets using duct tape. And I thought, that's such a great idea. Let's make one for the whole house. Axel is a fantastic air fort builder. Yeah! So this is the arch of the tunnel here. Look how this thing is full of air. I love this. This is so fun. Pull it over. All right, there we go, and now push hard. When you're pushing these seams, you wanna push hard so it can grip to it. Building things like this is hard work, but it's fun. Like that, Daddy? There we go, yeah, just like that. And just like that, we have it all No, and everyone up. needs a piece of a popsicle. A little piece. A little piece, a little piece of popsicle. For your hard work. Ah, uh, look at this. So our tunnel, I made the duct tape too thick right here. So it made it too heavy, it's just falling down. Ooh. Okay, everyone, so we're finished with the tunnel. I want to show you. Hey, Axel. So, should we play a game or something? We should tell a story in here. Yeah. I yeah. I'm hungry. Oh, okay. You want to eat first and then listen to the story? Eat first and then we'll tell a story. So, Axel's going to show us the tunnel. Axel Doggy. Oh, Faven Puppy. It's Faven. We miss Faven, don't we? Yeah, we miss Agent Tracker. Oh, never tell me, never tell me. Yeah. <laughs> Agent Tracker, Faven, our, our puppy dog, she would just roll over on her belly when she saw you and just scratch my tummy, scratch my tummy. Yeah, no, 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 no. All right, let's see the tunnel. This is so cool. Oh my goodness. Wow. Dude, this, this tunnel is like perfectly round. And duct tape seam right here. We sewed it up. Oh yeah, they don't pay their poopy. And you guys make Oh yeah, have our Rika have a dog, and they miss their dog too. Let's go. Wow. So cool. You know what? I'm hungry. I'm gonna go to the kitchen. So we're gonna go through this door right here. Oh, there you go. There you go. Da -da. There goes Rinka. We're gonna go through this door here. Oh. Go eat food in the kitchen. I am gonna have a nice little snack. Nick Sticks, grass fed beef turkey sticks. Fueling the action. Thank you, Nick Sticks, for sending us these. I'll put a link down below for anyone who's interested. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. And now we are frying us up some. Oh. Windshield wipers. Breadfruit. This is called breadfruit. Isn't that funny? It's a uh, fruit that smells like bread, evidently. I wonder if it tastes like bread. Are you excited about the breadfruit? Mm -hmm. Are you excited about having a story inside of our air fort and blanket Minecraft fort? And Minecraft, you know. And Minecraft, you know? All right. Olive. Oh no, it's the zombie olive. The olive zombie. I mean, oh god. I'm, hey, I wanted those zombie figures. Ah, um, <laughs> when I was a kid, I would do that all the time. I would put olives on my fingers and eat them off. It was so fun. I wonder if any of them do that. Oh, uh, we'll bite your finger off. Ow. Ow. Grab it off the book. <laughs> so Axel, the bread fruit's ready. Ow. Ooh, okay, it'll be okay. Come on, we're gonna let the fans cool it off in here. I got a special table in here. Everybody in, everybody in. Whoa, somebody's cutting in front of me. Ah, uh, la la. We are in the dining room now, which is also the game room. Okay, so Axel put it in front of the fan to let it cool off. That's a great idea. So how's the bread fruit? It's okay. It's okay? One out of ten. That's pretty good. One out of ten. What's your opinion? Ow! Oh, I just bit my cheek. Ow! That hurt! Yikes. That was really painful. I'm gonna cry! It's okay. It's okay. Don't be it sad. Didn't hurt that. I love <laughs> The door automatically closes. Let me see. Whoa! Whoa, that's so cool. The fan blows the clothes. So we're about to tell a story, but first I gotta use the bathroom. So I'm gonna go through the tunnel, up and out through here, and into the bathroom. Oh. Oh. oh, hi. Hi, Patrick. How you doing? Hi, Rainbow. Oh my gosh, there's two Patricks. Oh, look, there, and there, and wait. Oh, there's three. There's one right there, too. <gasps> Do you see this, Axel? There's one, two, three of all of us. This is incredible. How is this accomplished? Axel, disappeared. I'm going to touch the other Patrick's hands. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna punch you. 
<laughs> oh, he punched you too. The other axe will punch you back. Okay. All done in the bathroom. Now it's time for a story. Down the tunnel. This tunnel is so cool. I think this is my favorite part of the whole thing. Where is everybody? Everyone's gone. No story time. Come on. I'm monster. What? I'm not a monster. Don't go me, you monster. Just a man who wants to tell a story. I'm not a monster. Help me. Help me. What is it? Oh, that's a dark. That's such a scary. It is. It's very dark. Once it gets dark in here, it's like a really dark, scary tunnel. Yeah. River, come back from the dark, scary tunnel. Hey, you can stay here. River's the scary thing in the tunnel. Well, what are you doing? What in the world is that thing? Is that a is that a monkey? Yeah. <laughs> What's the thing? Choo choo. Choo choo gonna be in the story? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely gonna have choo choo. Sparkly too. Sparkly too. And noble. And noble. And noble the dog. And baby and noble. Baby noble, yeah. And Axel has Roton here. Are you ready for a story? Who's ready for a story? I'm sorry. I I can't hear you. Stop, 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 our neighbors are going to call the police. Okay, now that I'm thoroughly deaf and I can't hear anything from all that screaming, we're going to tell a story. So, Axel, Heroto, and Rinka, this is Rinka, by the way, can you say hi, Rinka? That's Rinka. Axel, Heroto, Rinka, and River were all walking along the beach whenever they found a bottle. They found a bottle. Yeah, a bottle. a bottle, but the bottle was corked. Axel picked up the bottle and looked at it. It had a scroll, a scroll looking thing in it. Oh my goodness. Axel popped the cork off and slowly fished the scroll out and it was a map. Uh, then um, um, after that, Rika saw another one. Another one? Yeah, and then she popped it with just cheese, that's it. Cheese? <laughs> yeah. It had cheese in it? And then Sam and Puppy sniffed out another one. Uh -huh. And then I popped the corn off of the, uh -huh. that one. Then there was a note a with note? a shark on it, like when Darren and you it oh, followed the walk yeah. trail. In the adventurers? <gasps> Up in the tree we found a note with a shark on it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, we ever saw that episode. Okay, so Axel was looking at the map and it had an X along what looked like the same shore that they were on. <laughs> and the X was right at a spot where there were some caves. Axel and so Enrica decided that this was probably a treasure map because uh, what else would be on a map with an X like that, right? In River 2, yeah, right. And so they walked doo -doo 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 -doo, all the way down to where the X was. So an actor said, this is it, right here. This is where the X is, and oh, look at that. There was a cave, kind of like this scary cave right here, except there was smoke coming out of the cave, up into the air. Smoke coming out of the cave. What dragon. could that mean? Oh. Everyone sat down. A dragon. Of course, because if there's treasure, there's gotta be a dragon guarding it, right? Always a dragon guarding the treasure. Axel and Earth and Rinka and River expected like the worst. Like Axel dragons. said there's like probably a dragon in there. Like dragons aren't real. Uh, in this story they are. Yeah. So Axel cautiously peered around the corner like that, and then ah, he jumped back. And as soon as he jumped back, heat waves started coming out, and then flames started spewing out of the cave. Did they burn them? It was pretty intense. Yeah. Hiroto then, burned his pinky finger because he was like, ooh, a flame. And he put his pinky finger in and he was like, ow, ow, mm, 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 ow. Then, if you saw a dragon spewing fire out of a cave, and, and, would you put your finger in the flame? And, and, Probably not. And, and then we, 
And then we all jumped in the water. We all jumped in the water, yes. And everyone went, ah! and it jumped in the water, except Axel. Axel stayed behind, and he hid up at the top of the cave, and he waited. And soon enough, the earth started to shake. And the dragon came out of the cave, and it saw the river and wrote to Arika in the ocean. And then we both went ahead in the water. Yes, exactly. Then the, the dragon spewed fire at them when it was outside of the cave, and the fire went, and they ducked their heads underwater, and then until the fire stopped, and they popped their heads back up. In the meantime, the dragon had exited the cave, and sneaky Axel jumped down off of the roof of the cave and ran into the cave to go look for treasure. And he had a flashlight with him. Oh, well, actually, yeah, he had Roton, the Pokemon, he could produce light, and he shone light, and all of a sudden, Axel saw light. Also, Faven got his paw bomb, so Faven jumped in the water. Oh, yeah, Faven's in the water, too. How about Chitter and, and Sparkly? They're not here yet? No, they are there yet, yes. When the, um, when the fire I was still on, uh -huh. um, the pony jumped out, and then so while Axel was in the cave, the dragon started breathing fire again on the Roto Rinken River. Ah. The water was getting hotter yes. and hotter. Yes, the water was getting hotter and hotter, and, and Rinka, and it boiled, and Rinka and River and Roto couldn't stand it anymore. And then Sparkles to the rescue. The sparkly oh. jumps out of the water. Uh huh. And then what? Sparkly spray magic on. Please. And the dragon stopped breathing fire immediately and was confused by the magic. And then it regained its composure and it was about to breathe fire again. But fortunately, Choo Choo, what did Choo Choo do? Choo Choo swirled his tail. And then blow a super strong wind. Strong it blew a super arc. strong wind it and it caught the dragon's wings up. And it blew the fire away. And the dragon tried to breathe the fire, but the but but Choo Choo's tail was blowing the fire back at the dragon. And the dragon was breathing fire but, on itself. The and then Axel came out of the cave screaming, uh, Treasure! I've got treasure! Uh oh. Axel shouldn't scream like that. And then the dragon turned and saw Axel with his treasure. And there is nothing that makes a dragon matter than watching its treasure being stolen. And this dragon was no exception. The dragon looked at Axel with the meanest look that anyone have ever given anyone in the whole world. And breathed back and... Before he gets the spray, before he gets the spray, Sparkly stung him with her horn. What did Fave and Puppy do? A poisonous ear? Yeah. Oh my goodness, what if he hit a dog on a poisonous ear? Poison the dragon? The dragon's mouth? And then the dragon ate it, then it was oh dead. Goodness. They but thought it was you. dead, but it really wasn't dead, and then it came back to life. No, no, and then what happened? What happened? Choo Choo whacked it on its head Choo -choo and it fainted. whacked it on its head with its tail and it fainted. And no, it not yet. It almost fainted. It was like, <laughs> Not, not fading. The, attack, the attacks didn't penetrate because it had so thick scales. Wow, so what happened? So then, Rotom used Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt, and it's it just super effective. <laughs> and the dragon went, oh. no, It fell down. It started to get back up. But by then, Axel and Inoto and Rinka and River had gotten away with the treasure. And no, they no. went to Walmart and they bought all the sheets and all the sheets from Target and all the fans and they made the biggest air fort in the world. It was 500 feet high, a thousand feet wide, and they invited all their friends to be in it. So do you guys like the fort? Yeah. Pretty sweet, huh? Yeah. Dude, what if we lived in here? Wouldn't that be cool? You want a longer story? They want a longer story. Oh my goodness. Telling stories can be so much fun. Hey, you know the good thing about this fort? is all we used was a little bit, a few boxes, some box fans, some duct tape, and some sheets. You probably have some sheets laying around, some duct tape, and a few box fans. You can throw up something so cool, like this board, if you just use your imagination. All right, well remember, we love you, we think you're awesome, we're so glad you joined us on today's adventure. You get out and use your imaginations to have your own adventures. Don't just watch our videos. You can have fun too. Bye. You say bye. You say bye. Are you eating your foot? Axel's eating his foot. Axel, Daddy. Axel, I have food. You don't have to eat your foot. You don't have to eat your foot. Get it out of your mouth. Oh, this tastes good. Can I have a bite? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I like tofu. <laughs> Do you say bye? Bye. 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 Bye.
Oh no, oh gosh. <laughs> Bye!